Hello, I'm at Super Judge and I'm here with my wife Gloria and we are so pleased and excited to be bringing God's truth to you today. This is a new week that we have stepped into and we believe God have great plans for you. How do you know God's plans for you are real? Because he first brings his word mm -hmm. to you. Praise God. He said, I will not do anything until I first reveal it mm -hmm. to my servants, the prophets. Now, God will first reveal to you what his mindset is. So the things we're going to be sharing with you this week are things that are on God's mind mm -hmm. concerning mm -hmm. you. And they are good. <laughs> it's good. But before going to today's broadcast, let's call for that daily bread as the Lord has taught us and commanded us to mm -hmm. do. So are you ready? Say this with us. Say, Father, Father I, demand I demand and I receive, and I receive today, today my, daily bread. my daily bread. It's full, it's full according to your word. According to your and word. I receive all of it. And I receive all of it. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Now we've been talking about family, family matters. matters yes. And turn your Bibles with me to Genesis chapter 18. That's where we started this from. And it's important we keep close with the vision mm. for this whole broadcast. Mm. Verse 19. God speaking concerning Abraham. And he said, for I know him that he will command his children and his household after him. Now we talked about this word command. Command is not force. Command is not shout. Command is setting an example yes. and doing things that brings like the best example. He commands so much respect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not because he's shouting to everybody respect him. No, but he, there is something is doing that is right that people look at him and say mm -hmm. oh i like this person mm -hmm. i mean i respect this person mm -hmm. so that's what god meant when he says he will command his children and his household after him and they shall keep the way of, of the, the lord. lord to do justice mm -hmm. and judgment mm -hmm. that the lord may bring upon abraham that which he has spoken okay of him mm -hmm. now this is god's way of doing things this is god's mm, character you know i think the same thing david david was talking to solomon he he made reference to the same thing so that's in second first kings chapter two mm -hmm. let's look at that okay. first kings chapter two okay first kings chapter two from verse one now, let me read it. It says, Now the days of David drew nigh that he should, he should die. die. And he charged Solomon his son, saying, I go the way of all the earth. Be thou strong, therefore, and show thyself a man, and keep the charge of the Lord thy God to walk in his ways, to keep his stature, statutes, yes. and his commandments, and his judgment, and his testimony. Yes as it is written in the law of Moses, that thou mayest prosper in all that thou doest and whithersoever thou turnest thyself. Now look at verse 4. Mm. That the Lord may continue his word which he spake concerning me. Concerning See? David. Yes. So David knew that he would need Solomon to keep the way of the Lord mm -hmm. so that God will bring to pass the things that he has spoken concerning him, mm -hmm. David. Mm -hmm. So now Abraham, the same thing, says he will command his children and his household after, after him, him to keep the way of the Lord so that God will bring mm -hmm. to pass the things he has said concerning mm -hmm. Abraham. Mm -hmm. Now, it's the same thing. You don't just think that God's promises to you are just for you. No. He is thinking about your whole lineage. If God say, I have blessed you, I'm telling you the truth. He is if you're the first person in your lineage that God is talking to and saying, mm -hmm. I have blessed you. Mm -hmm. Now, when I'm in the first person, it's possible God had promised someone, but there was a disconnect. Mm -hmm. And I, now God being faithful mm -hmm. finds you mm -hmm. and says, I will bless you. Mm -hmm. He's not just thinking about you. He's thinking about your children. Now, when the Bible says a good man, 
leaves an inheritance, an inheritance for his children's children. children. That's what he's referring to. Mm. The inheritance is not physical money. It's not physical houses and land. It is the blessing. The good man lives a life that will attract the blessing. And then this blessing, because it is given by God, it goes to the children's children. children. You know, the Lord told me this, and you know, of course you know this, the Lord told me this. He said, when I bless a man, that blessing is always confirmed in, in the, the third, third generation. generation. That is when God confirms that blessing. That yeah. it, you Number one, it means you walked right. Number two, you commanded your children yeah. after God. Yeah. So you find God saying, I'm the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the yeah. God of Jacob. Yeah. So when you read scriptures and God blesses and say, you shall see your children's children. He's not just talking about see, Excuse me. He's not just talking about his. He's not just talking about seeing them physically. Mm. No, he's talking about you shall see the blessing made manifest, made manifest in your children, mm. and then your, your children's, children's children. children. That's the third generation. Mm. When you see the blessing in your children's children, it means it is confirmed that your lineage, lineage is, is blessed, blessed. and mean? Satan is going to fight this blessing when you see listen when you see the devil come for people's lives when you see the devil come for people's home you know mm -hmm. what he's looking at he's nowhere fighting blessing. that blessing he wants to put a stop ah to he it. wants to put a stop to it mm -hmm. if he can't get you to put a stop to it then he will make you neglect your children yeah. so that god will not find any of mm -hmm. your children to work with he yeah. did that to samuel yeah. he did that to ella yeah. Samuel was a great prophet of God. The Bible says his word never fell to the ground, but he was not a blessed man. Because mm. God couldn't give him the blessing. He neglected his children. He neglected his children. He, he wasn't careful. He, take he wasn't careful in that mm. regard. Yeah. And that's why we're sharing all these things with you, because it's beyond cars and houses. Physical properties. It's beyond physical things. But it will produce physical exactly. things. Abraham did not get a land before he died. Mm -hmm. He did not possess physically any land. Even when his wife died, he had to pay. Mm -hmm. He bought the land. Mm -hmm. But God says, I will give you the land. You will not buy the land. God mm -hmm. says, God says, I will give you the money to buy the land. Mm -hmm. So I will give you the land. But did God fail? No. Israel. Israel, the nation of Israel, mm. is still occupying that land to this day. Mm. <laughs> God. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Now, a lot, a lot to learn. Yes. And we've been sharing so many. We've talked about walking in truth. Mm. We've talked about when you make a mistake, how to correct or how to make those mistakes. And, and last week, we were really talking about receiving wisdom from God, which is based on truth. Yeah, and knowing what wisdom is. Knowing yeah. what wisdom is. Yeah. I know how to function mm -hmm. in, in God's wisdom when situations yeah. happen. Now, mm -hmm. looking at this, okay. God is concerned about how you command your children and not just your children and your household. Okay. Meaning, it's not just your biological children mm. everyone who's under your household everyone who's under your care god is concerned how you command their respect what do they think about you <clears throat> you know jesus had to ask the disciples one time he says who do people say that i am and then he now went on to say, who do you say that I am? Think about it, you know, as, as, as a husband. Who do people think you are? Now look at your wife and ask her, who okay, do you say that I, am? that I am? Because sometimes, let's not take it outside too much. Yeah. Sometimes, most, we just want to pretend outside. In the home. No, there, the there, there, are, there are wives mm. that like, when you see people honoring the husband, say, people <laughs> who don't know him. Exactly. 
He was supposed to be known from your home. From your yeah. home. God said of Abraham, I know him, that, not that he will command outsiders. I know the funny thing about that question Jesus asked. What they said others were saying about Jesus mm -hmm. was not really what it is. Mm -hmm. But the disciples, when Peter spoke up, he says, you are the Christ. Well, they, they didn't say some say you are the Christ. Mm -hmm. They didn't say that. They say some say you are Elijah. Some say mm -hmm. you are the pro yeah, one of the prophets. Mm -hmm. Some say that. They say, who do you say that? Jesus, and, and that's the most important thing. Mm -hmm. No matter how great a man is, mm -hmm. what does your household think about you? What does your wife think about you? What do your children think about you? What does your household, those that are close to you, what do they think about you? That's what matters. And that's how you truly command. Because everybody outside may hail you because mm. they don't really know no, you. you. It's what you show to them that they see and they respond to. But your wife, your household, if you are a man that is walking by faith, they will know mm. it. Walking in truth. If you're a man that is walking in truth, mm. they will know it. Because they, they are the ones that are there when the challenges yes, come. Exactly. Most every other person only hear the testimony. But those of your household, they are the ones that will know that, ah, is this thing going to really work? And, and they say, that is not shaking. That is not scared. Let's be strong. That is not scared. Yeah. <laughs> By your actions. That's how you command respect. Yes. They watch you. Mm. They see how you deal with issues. And same thing also if, if, if you're misbehaving. They watch you. To see how you handle They it. see you. They see how you handle issues. They see how you handle your relationships. Mm. They see how you handle your workers. They see how you handle... They see all that. And guess what? You are brooding the next generation. generation. It, it doesn't matter. You can send them to the best schools, mm. pay all the money for that. They are watching you. And what they say you are is what they will become. Okay. So this is this is a good good and important thing to think about. What do your household say you are? Praise God. Hallelujah. What's in your, what's your spirit? I know we don't have so much time today. I just want to address a meeting on when God said I know of Abraham and yeah. how that he commands his hand to go after him. You know, sometimes initially you might face challenges in yeah. commanding your household. Yeah. Maybe um, your children suddenly start behaving anyhow or your Servants not behaving anyhow. Your consistency. You've got to be consistent. In staying with truth, taking charge of whatever situation in your home is what is going to eventually win them over. Assuming for any reason they are fighting your authority. You know, because we talked about how that is very important that when people, for whatever reason that someone stays in your house, that person has become your family member. That person is your immediate household. So that means you need to take charge of them. They may come in very not okay manners, you know. For instance, your help comes with all sorts of mannerisms. You, you teach. That's a teaching is commanding. Yeah, yeah. You insist. This is how it should be done. Mm -hmm. And then there shouldn't be hypocrisy. Yes. You shouldn't be saying this is how you should be done. And then you are doing the opposite. And then you actually are doing, doing the opposite. The opposite. Now, once that hypocrisy mm -hmm. is there, it's the same thing because because they see. Mm. Same thing with your children. Mm. They see. Mm. And, you know, just natural thinking now. How growing up, our parents were so disciplined and they, you must, you know, and then they discipline us such that at that point, you're like, man, daddy mommy is too hard. What kind of thing is this? Mm. But later on, in life, in life appreciate it. you think back and then you realize, especially when there's consistency in yes. discipline. Consistency, that's the word. You, you, you just grow up and you're doing the same. You're doing the same. There are times, you know, you're, you're, you're bringing forth some kind of discipline and it just crosses your mind, this is what my dad or this is what my mom used to do to me. 
But you see, it doesn't matter if you didn't receive the right upbringing. Mm. It it's still your you. decision to make today. Yeah. It can start from you. Praise God. I know we have a lot to share with, with, with everyone this week because mm -hmm. our time is up right now. But then listen, open your hearts. These words we are sharing. And if you've just if you're just joining us, go look at the what we've been talking previous about, episodes. previous episodes from, yeah. from the beginning of February. Mm -hmm. And look, look through it. And you will be surely blessed. blessed. And if you've not subscribed to our YouTube channel, Please do. Please do so. Do so today. Do so right now immediately. Just 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 do so now. Praise God. Amen. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thy word is it's truth. True. And we submit ourselves completely to the workings of your word. Thank you, precious Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We'll see you tomorrow. Until then. God bless you. Bye-bye.